to another episode of What the Sweet Fuck. I'm Nicola Fodi. I'm Megan Tonjes, and this dog's about to pass out on the table. Bye. And we're here to give you all things fuckworthy. Let's get fucked. So what are you here for today? It's a great question that you posed. I am here for this video and this tweet, really. Because first it reminded me of me, mm -hmm. but it also reminded me of you, and it took everything in me to not tag you in it. it I... Should I be offended or excited? You can be both. Mm. Me at 2.58 in the morning looking for a little snacky snack. <laughs> <laughs> He's just slapping his little belly. <laughs> this I've literally done this. If you haven't walked up to a refrigerator and smacked your stomach like, what are we gonna eat? You're fucking up. <laughs> With nothing but the light from the interior um, of the refrigerator illuminating your just, face. Ooh, 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 ooh. What are we putting inside? Ugh. Sometimes I slap my own ass. Like oh, a lot. Oh, so like, much. Like often. Or I just cup like cup it. Well I don't so much I don't want so okay. I don't so much cup. I do put my hand on my tots a lot and I do grab those. But I mostly like when I'm walking, I slap my ass the way that I wish a boyfriend would. Ooh, oh I do this a lot too. Just yeah. support you know, because gravity, it brings your titties down. I just like to just hold, hold them up to where the good Lord intended. I wish, then... I wish that gravity would bring your hair down the way it's bringing your titties down, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Get it? It's a joke because he's insecure about how short his hair is and how it won't grow. I am here for oh, a couple yeah, it really Oh yeah, never grows, things. but it's like shoulder length. I know, but like I feel like it's been the same length. Like when is it gonna, I need to find like hairs in my butt crack. That's, I need it. That's what I crave. I don't know what you and Ken are into. <laughs> and I'm just here to be a supportive friend. Just like floss, like when you have to like rip it out and just like. Just a butt floss. It's the things that you romanticize as being like worthy of experiencing are fascinating to me. Okay, so I am here for a few things. Oh God. They're all related to pose. Oh, you chose like eight things that you're here for. I did, well, it, it's all related to pose because it's like, you know, they're doing promotions for season two coming out. How do you misunderstand the homework for something that you created? No, I just am an over, I overachieve. It's not an overachieving, thing. it's actually not listening to directions. Well, it's a little of it's both. It's not tomato, tomato, I, it's failing it's, exam. You can't I'm, be like, it's five credit. plus five equals 10, but also maybe it's eight and maybe it's 12. I don't know, depending on mm -hmm. the day, like maybe it's 14. No, no it's the teacher wrong. asked for one paragraph and I wrote a page. So, <sighs> pose. Yeah. Season one is finally on Netflix. Are you here? It's are you so... the fucking ambassador uh, for I what can't... shows are Listen, dropping? Listen, I don't choose when these things what? happen. They here, both happen this week. Here for it. Nikki's like, let me announce the new lineup on Hulu and Netflix. Are you? Are they paying you? Jesus Christ. Season one of Poses on Netflix. It is amazing. It is iconic. If you haven't seen it, you should watch it. Season two comes out June 11th. Uh, except it won't be on Netflix, so I don't know how I'm gonna watch it. So I'll be sad about that. that well, imagine day, but... the day that you have to actually pay for the thing that you're using to watch it. Oh, at, like an FX app or something? Like I, mean, I don't, oh, I don't to know. To be fair, if you don't know how to find things for free on the internet, you're fucking it up. But... I know, but I also want to like support the. It's it's a struggle. But you want to support the thing that you're not paying for, but you don't want to find. Oh, Netflix. You have it's Netflix. On Netflix. Oh, okay. So the other thing I'm here for is India Moore. Yes. Being the first trans person on the cover of Elle. Love it. Such she a looks good beautiful. cover. Such a good cover. Um, and I love her. And just watch the show. That's all. Just watch it. Ambassador Nikki, I love it. I two of my favorite shows have newsworthy things this week, so I can't, you know, I don't make the decisions. I just speak on them. Okay. Well, whatever. You know what? I'm learning a lot about you. What are you learning? Can you write a book report about me? I would love to. But I would love to write an entire book about you. <laughs> like uh, when I was little. <laughs> when I was little. My mom got me one of these things where it's like you fill in all of these pages as if it's like a book and then you send it in and they actually print it out like a book. I wrote a whole story about a couple of kids that have a sleepover and they think they see a monster but really it's one of their grandmas in like hair rollers and a face mask. Mm. It's the whole, mm. it's the whole thing. <laughs> 
So today I want to talk about something that really I want to do. I would love to do this. If I were to be a career criminal, this is what I would like to do. It's gonna have something to do with food. No, it actually. Oh no, I know what it is. I'm gonna guess before you say it. Okay. It's someone who broke into someone's house and cleaned it and organized it. How the fuck? Why are you reading? Don't, why are you cheap? She, she loves spoilers. I didn't cheat. I God did damn cheat. it. I did cheat, but when I saw I saw a story about it the other day, I, I, I swooped I swooped I swooped past it. And in my head, I thought Virgo energy. And, but you know what? As you're talking about, it's something that you would do, knowing you who loves to make sure that everything is touching the corner, everything is per like he doesn't is even that, realize. Is or that Earth sign him. energy or no? Because you said Virgo. I know she's oh, an Earth yeah. sign. That might actually, because Taurus did it, that is an Earth. Fuck, wow, I didn't even make that connection. But listen, this I wish all Capricorns clean the way away. that you clean. It's not. It, I love cleaning. Can I talk about my story yet? I guess. <laughs> this is this is the second clip. God damn. Whatever, bitch. You talk for thirty minutes at a time. Oh. Mine. This is a little feedback for that ass. Oh. <laughs> Hate it. I talk about okay. your bullshit. So, god damn it. Resident baffled when intruder cleans home takes nothing. <laughs> That just sounds like a friend paid someone to go clean your house or a wellness check or a family member that was just, you know, did what they do. Oh, I love, I love a criminal. That does good. You know, I, I love a breaking and entering and cleaning moment. Yeah. A Massachusetts man said he arrived at his family's home to find someone had broken in and given your residence. <laughs> A deep clean cleaning without stealing anything. Can I see a before and after? Like, what do we? I, I mean, I don't know. I think know. he's lying. Yeah. I think he's lying. I am really. I hate to be the bearer of bad news. I've been seeing a lot of moments online where things just happen to happen, and then they're just so newsworthy, and I'm starting to really question them because sometimes it just doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Not to say this doesn't make sense, but it doesn't make sense. So I just think that either this man got high the night before and cleaned his apartment and forgot to lock the door and came back to it, or this was a very passive aggressive mood by a neighbor that was like, fuck, you're disgusting. So they waited until he went out to, I don't know, the Piggly Wiggly or the 7 Eleven with his say. fucking five year old. And, and they were like, let's clean this shit up just to show you what life could be. Maybe it's an episode of Trading Spaces that he forgot he signed up for. Or maybe it's an episode of Hoarders and they just haven't revealed themselves on camera yet. Thoughts? <clears throat> I, I'm, okay, listen, there are no suspects. They don't know who did it. You can put someone in jail for fucking but, cleaning your house? But uh, they left a clue behind. Oh, I love a clue. Toilet paper folded into origami roses. <laughs> I hope it's a business card. I hope there's a phone number in the back of it. Like, please seek our services. <laughs> yeah, I feel like, I mean, it could be a neighbor that, you know, I have a neighbor that constantly just puts their bag of trash in the hallway until they're ready to take it out to the dumpster. As if like they couldn't just walk to the dumpster when they put it on. The... I don't want the hallway smelling like I love it. <laughs> literal trash. Okay. That, that would be me. I almost have taken their garbage myself. Oh. I'm like, this is not, and that's, maybe that's what they want. And that's the point. That's exactly why I would do that. So that some, someone would get annoyed enough that they would take it. But you know what? Maybe it's one of their friends too. They're like, ooh, you know, last time I came over, it really wasn't looking good. Um, or maybe this man is lying because all of a sudden it's like, there's an artistic rose left behind out of toilet paper. Bitch, what Disney fucking movie is this? What little elves like scurried into your home? What Santa Christmas fucking magic happened? This is a lie. It's probably his wife. He came home and he he just forgot that she's that doing he had a wife at the fucking house, and she's like, yeah, here you go, babe. What would you do if you walked into your I just, apartment I don't... and everything was just spig and span, pristine, mm. crisp? There's like mm. a a smell of pine saw in the air. I would say, hmm. It seems like I live here because I'm probably the one that cleaned it just like this. Uh, this is me. I can't. That, I mean, that is definitely a crime for you. You uh, should own that outfit. That's a very honestly? you. Honestly? Wow. A very you outfit. How do I get paid to like clean and organize 
people's places. I guess that's what becoming a maid is. <laughs> Forgot that. There are a million apps in this town that people can, I'm sure you can apply. It's, it, you just apply for a job, Nikki. You know what? While you're cleaning houses, you mm. could also deliver groceries. You could deliver food. You could drive people to their destinations. Look, four jobs for you lined up. Wow. Done and done. You'd come home, and this is how I would be cleaning your house. <laughs> That'd be me, a warden. <laughs> You're vacuuming my dog? Yeah, I'd be vacuuming your dog. Because I can, and because I will. I'd vacuum the fuck out of Warden. You're the only person that doesn't like him. It's not that I don't like him, I just don't care about him. There's a marked difference. You're the worst aunt. Uh, it's not a title I asked for because we are not related and you just bestowed something upon me. I might be a, a horrible aunt, but I'm a great mom. Interesting, because um, am I not Margot's uncle? I do call you Uncle Nikki. So you're not Auntie Megan to Warden? Well, uncle is the name you give to someone that's relatively useless, but occasionally brings gifts to the children. <laughs> you know, another useless man in the home. <laughs> Listen, you know what you should do while you're sitting here laughing, enjoying yourself, and feeling the pure excitement and exhilaration of knowing us as people? You should go over to patreon.com slash whatthesweetfuck. We have some Patreons that we need to give a little shout to because they get extra clips every week, and they, um, by virtue of existing, make it so that we do these little challenges. We have challenges coming up. If only a few more of you uh, join up, we're gonna do a Facetune video. You don't gotta, but if you wanna, you can. I mean, just go with what your soul tells you that you should do and then put your credit card information in. <laughs> <laughs> we want to give an extra to our babies in the sweet spot. Jeremy Shaw. Shawshank Redemption is pussy. Elijah Lenahan. Elijah la 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 you could have gotten la 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 longer. La la longer. Shannon, so sweet, so tart. Lemon, bitch. And Heather Snitch for Eloides. Heather, I swear to God, if you don't shut the fuck up. <laughs> we also <laughs> want to give a to Wyatt Eaton. Wyatt Earp Eaton. <laughs> Roberto XF. Roberto, I want you in an XL XS. AJ Avicia. AJ, I want to pour chai tea latte in your mouth. Obviously, yeah. Tamara Moongraves. Tamara, the only bitch that cares about me, Moongraves, who, by the way, wrote a fucking review about me, and it's beautiful, and I just, uh, beautiful. Love reviews. Uh, love Sam Brodeur. Sam, it's too much, Brodeur. Carissa Maben. Carissa Maben, the love of my life. MK Zavader. MK Twitch Bitch Zavader. Evan Bloom. Evan so blue without you. Stephanie. Chelsea Strong. Chelsea Strong, I'm the way in my heart. JB Terpsichore. How do you play the JB Terpsichore? Pam Gallegos. Pam, uh... I need to tell you about your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And William Harvey. William said, oh shit, <laughs> Harvey. <laughs> we also want to give a mm. to all the babies you see on the screen and the babies you don't see who are our ghost babies. We like them. Haunt us. Boo. Thank you, babies. Thanks. With your love and support, this show continues. Yeah, Margo's very excited about it. Yeah, clearly. Margo, are you a patron? Margo loves having a roof over her head. She loves having food, so let's keep it up. You can find me most places at Soundly Awake. You can find me most places at Megan Tonjes. And uh, that's all we have for you this week. All right, I'm done There's an extra clip on Patreon if you want to. I forgot to mention that. All right. I just drooled on myself. Have a great day. Love you. Bye.